welcome to World Geography Wednesday. It's like Taco Tuesday, but better. Today, we're gonna learn about Australia. If you're lucky, you'll get to see Holiday Barbie. To get started, grab your favorite World Geography book or world map and try to find Australia. Kids, I'll give you a clue. It's a large island, it's also a continent, and it's a country. Did you find it? Good job. All right, first I'm gonna tell you some fun facts about Australia. Then I'll share with you a video on the Kakadu National Park. It's the largest national park in all of Australia. Finally, I'll show you how to make shrimp on the barbie. Well, ignoring the tiny insignificant detail that I don't have an outdoor grill, it'll be fine. Wow, y'all are really getting into studying Australian geography. Wait a minute. Girl, what's the capital of Australia? Canberra? It's actually pronounced Canberra, but close enough. Now get back to studying. As promised, here are some fun facts about Australia. The word selfie was invented by an Australian in 2002. Australians love to use nicknames. The center of Australia is a vast desert called the Outback. Most Australians actually live along the coast. Australia is home to phasmids, a prehistoric looking insect nicknamed tree lobsters. Gross. Before the British arrived, Australia was inhabited mostly by Aborigines, the native peoples of the mainland and many of its islands. P.L. Travers, the author of Mary Poppins, is from Australia. If you have time to learn more, Australian Geographic made a really great video about the Kakadu National Park. I've put a link to it in the description box below. If you're interested in Australian stories, check out Just Another Ordinary Day by famous Australian cartoonist Rod Clement. Another good one is Dingoes at Dinner Time by Mary Pope Osborne. But enough learning, it's time to eat. I'm going to show you how to make shrimp on the Barbie. Australians really love their nicknames, and Barbie is short for barbecue. What? How dare you? Now, I don't actually have a barbecue pit or an outdoor grill, so I'm going to show you how to cook this in the oven under your broiler. Shrimp have such a short cooking time, I promise you're not even going to notice the difference. First, start by gathering your ingredients. We're going to start with some herbs and aromatics for our marinade, then of course your shrimp. Now Australia is an island and the center of it is a vast desert, so most Australians live along the coast, which means they have access to a lot of fresh seafood. If you can't get fresh shrimp, frozen shrimp works just fine in this recipe. Just put it in a bowl of water in your sink to defrost and it only takes about 30 minutes to an hour. I've also got ingredients for a mango chutney. It's a little different than a traditional barbecue sauce, but it's delicious. Once your shrimp are defrosted, peeled, and deveined, you're ready to start your marinade. Here's a screenshot of the ingredients. Add one stick of melted butter, a quarter cup of olive oil, one tablespoon of minced garlic, a half of a white onion, a handful of green onions, a handful of chopped cilantro, about a teaspoon of thyme, the seafood seasoning of your choice, I'm using Tony Shashery because I'm Cajun, and the juice of one lemon. Now give it a good stir and let that marinade for at least 30 minutes, but no longer than four hours or the lemon juice will start to cook the shrimp. While that's marinating, you can make your mango chutney dipping sauce. It's really easy and delicious. You start by peeling and chopping your fresh mango into cubes. If you can't get fresh ripe mango, you can use a bag of frozen. Just make sure you defrost it first. Then add a small container of pico de gallo. It's basically a Mexican blend of onions, jalapeno, tomatoes, cilantro. You can get it at most grocery stores.
then give it a chop. Our shrimp is finished marinating and now we're ready to broil. First, set your oven temperature to broil and make sure you've got a rack right in the middle. While that's heating up, you can put your shrimp on your skewers. If we were using an actual barbecue pit, I'd recommend that you soak your wooden skewers in water for about 30 minutes, but since we're putting ours in the oven, they should be just fine. It's a pretty straightforward process. You just grab a shrimp, turn it into a C-shape, and stab it onto your skewer. This is a great time to get your kids involved in cooking. It's messy, it's a little bit gross, and it's easy. They should love it. Once you've got all your shrimp on the skewers, dot it with the remaining butter herb marinade. You don't want any of that awesome flavor to go to waste. Once your broiler reaches temperature, which should be about 500 degrees, your shrimp are ready to cook. Put them in the center rack, not the top, and set your timer for three minutes. After three minutes, take them out, flip them over, and put them in for another three to four minutes. At that point, your shrimp on the barbie are ready to eat. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this episode of World Geography Wednesday in Australia. If you're interested in the full Australian menu, check out my blog. I've linked to it in the description box below. In it, you'll find a recipe for Anzac biscuits. The recipe is simple and the cookies are delicious. Hope to see you next time. Bye.